Hey, what's up you guys? Michelle here, and I figured I'd do more of a chatty video today talking about eight mistakes you probably made when you went vegan. Unless, of course, you watched this video, and hopefully that will help you avoid them. Number one, jumping in the deep end before you learn to swim. A lot of times we learn about what's happening to animals or how unhealthy meat and dairy is for our bodies, and we think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go vegan. I'm gonna go vegan tomorrow. I'm gonna throw away everything in my house and in my kitchen and in my pantry and all of the leather and the silk and the, all of the things. Oh my God, I have nothing left in my house. Uh, jumping in the deep end can cause some issues and can be a mistake for many people. Some people it works out, I went vegan practically overnight, uh, but it was extra challenging that way. Going vegan is like anything else. Like you can't expect to hop on a piano and be able to play Mozart without ever having learned to read music. It's the same thing with going vegan. It's gonna be a learning process. There's a lot of different elements that you'll have to educate yourself on before you can really uh, feel like it's going at a good flow, like until it feels natural and second nature. So for some people, jumping in the deep end works great before you know how to swim and you're just like, I'll figure it out. I might almost drown, but if I survive, I survive and I'll keep going. And it kind of like expedites the process. I love functioning in that way. Um, but for some people that can add a whole lot of overwhelm and stress and feelings of failure if you mess up or slip up or, don't know what to make for dinner, it can just be overwhelming. And that's what causes a lot of people to go vegan and then go back. Cause they feel like this was too much, this wasn't for me. Of course it's gonna be hard and it's gonna feel like a lot if you're doing all of it at once. But if you know, hey, my goal is to be vegan, you can always be like, all right, let's get started. Watch some documentaries like What the Health and Forks Over Knives, pick up some books, order some vegan cookbooks, start playing around with recipes that you find on vegan blogs. We've got tons of recipes at World of Vegan for you guys. Get familiar with what you can eat for breakfast and lunch and dinner that's plant-based. And then like as you start exploring ingredients and different alternatives and you know how to go in the grocery store and read labels and all of that stuff, going vegan will seem so much easier and you'll be so much less likely to be like, I can't do this, I'm out, peace out. So that is mistake number one. Number two. Number two is related, getting rid of all the products in your home that are not vegan. It can be tempting to say, look, I'm gonna just start with a clean slate, have no temptations and get rid of all the stuff in my house. And I actually do encourage this. If you have a friend you can give it to and you have the budget and money to like go shopping for everything again, great. But what you could also do is say, I'm just not gonna bring anything new into my home that contains animal products. Anything I buy out or when I go grocery shopping, I'm gonna be bringing vegan stuff in the home and what's in there, I'm just gonna use up or I'll give away. Um, and give yourself like a little bit of a cushion to kind of clear house in a more reasonable, calm way. Again, this is gonna prevent a whole lot of overwhelm and just unnecessary stress. It's not all, all or nothing. You don't have to strive for perfection from day one. Relax and give yourself a break. You will get there. Okay, number three, buying every vegan product you see. It can be really exciting when you go vegan because here's what happens. You think, I'm not gonna be able to eat anything. Cookies, gone. Ice cream, that's got milk, gone. Cheese, gone. Butter, gone. Like all pizza, gone. Cupcakes, gone. Donuts, gone. Like you think you're saying goodbye to everything and really quickly you start to realize like, oh my gosh, I can get vegan donuts. I can get vegan cookies. I can get all of these different cool things vegan that I ate before. And it feels like when you see those in the grocery store or you see um, anything cool, like, oh my God, I have to get this because I have to support it and it's new and it's awesome and I couldn't have this for two seconds in my life and so now I have to have it. <sighs> Again. Take a breath. It's an exciting time. I love that period of being vegan actually because it is so fun. Like the grocery store starts to feel like Disneyland and um, it's really exciting to explore new products, but it can get really expensive and unhealthy if you start like f indulging that urge to buy everything new and cool and vegan that you see at the store. I promise you guys, the vegan scene is only growing. If you are finding vegan donuts now, you'll probably find 10 types of vegan donuts in a few years, so it's not going away. And it will be there. Take it easy, take it slow, uh, shop, create a grocery shopping list, follow it. Uh, yes, don't make the mistake I made.
Mistake number four is believing that because it's vegan, it's healthy. Now, a lot of people go vegan for the health benefits. Plant-based eating is, can be one of the healthiest ways to eat on the planet. It's so good for longevity. It can prevent a reverse heart disease, can uh, prevent and reverse type two diabetes. It can help prevent against cancer. All of these benefits from eating healthy, whole plant-based foods. So there's the key. If you're eating whole grains and fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and food that comes from the natural earth that's not processed and loaded with fats and sugar, then you're gonna experience all those health benefits and, and beyond. But just because something has the vegan label on it does not mean it's healthy. It can be loaded with butter, it can be loaded with saturated fat from coconuts, it can uh, be packed with sugar. Sugar is vegan. I have a video on that too. Needless to say, I think this is an obvious one. You can get Oreos, you can get Red Vines, all these things are vegan and they are not healthy. Mistake number five, and this is one that I've heard all too often and it breaks my heart, and it's not feeling the vegan glow and because of that, abandoning veganism altogether. Friends, when you're first changing your diet from something, a different way of eating that you had been following for years, decades maybe, and suddenly you're feeding your body healthy, completely fiber-filled, different foods, your body can react in all different ways and not always will it feel good. You might be pooping a lot, you might be tooting a lot, you might, <laughs> you might have like weird cramps in your stomach, your body's not used to digesting so many beans and legumes and nuts and seeds and fibrous things. It doesn't mean it's not healthy and it doesn't mean it's not gonna benefit you in amazing ways down the line if you just give it a chance, but You'll read a lot online people feeling detox symptoms. So the first few weeks or even a couple months, they could be dealing, you might be dealing with um, your body just adjusting. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, so don't turn away because you're feeling a little different. If you're feeling sluggish or like you're low energy or anything like that, um, keep in mind, A, the placebo effect. We think, ooh, we're doing something different and then we tune into everything that could possibly be wrong in our bodies and we attribute it to being a cause of the thing we're thinking about when usually it can be completely un unrelated. Like you get headaches sometimes anyways, you feel weird sometimes anyway or sluggish. But if you're feeling sluggish, remember that oftentimes when you're eating plant-based foods, they're lower in calories and you have to eat more and more often. So make sure you're getting enough calories. That's so, so important make sure you're eating a varied diet. If you're concerned about your health or you're feeling weird, then see a registered dietitian uh, or you know, your doctor, but actually doctors oftentimes know very little if not nothing about nutrition. So see a registered dietitian. I'll link a, a article below that Taylor Wolfram, who is the registered dietitian who contributes to World of Vegan, she wrote a whole guide to how to find credible nutrition information and how to connect with um, registered dietitians that are well-versed in plant-based living. So you guys can check that out if you need some help or support, but again, give it time. You won't necessarily feel like this perfect angel two seconds after you start eating vegan food. That is that. Mistake number six is a sad one to say because a lot of us can't really control that, but that's going at it alone. Although I say you can't control it, but you can. So you may not be able to get your best friend or your family to join you on your vegan adventure, but I encourage you to try. Ask them, invite them, say, hey, this would be fun. Will you try it with me? And that way you have the camaraderie. You can share together the struggle and the wins and the successes and the new vegan foodie finds. And it can just be a really nice bonding, wonderful experience to have together. So try that because to have a partner in crime makes things so much easier. But if you can't find a friend, you do not have to go at it alone. Turn to the wonders of the internet, which you're kind of doing right now by watching this video. I will be your friend and your partner. There's, you know, all sorts of community groups out there that you can join. You can look at meetup on the, uh, in your area and see if there's any vegetarian or vegan meetups. Um, there's veg fests that you can go to to connect with other people. Uh, and yeah, if you just start engaging online in communities, I'm sure you can make some virtual friends as well. So never feel alone, friends. Number seven is sort of related and uh, might sound contradictory, but it's not expecting those around you to go vegan with you. So as much as you can invite them to and you can ask or you might think, oh my gosh, if I 
if they only knew what I knew, they would for sure go vegan. We can't hold those expectations of anyone else in our life as much as they couldn't hold those expectations of us. Um, we all are on our own path. We all have different life experiences and different knowledge in our brains. And so it's just really important to allow people to take their own journeys and some uh, might be different than yours and that's okay. There's always other people you can turn to or other people you can inspire to make positive changes. Don't hold those expectations of your friends and family if they're resistant at all because um, that would just cause all sorts of you know, tension and disappointment and just not necessary. Number eight should probably be number one because this is the mistake that I think every single vegan on planet Earth made or has made or is making and that is becoming that vegan that preachy vegan who's talks about being vegan all the time and it's judgmental the stereotypical judgmental vegan all of the jokes of people being like how will you know someone's vegan oh they'll tell you just try not to be that person. It's hard, y'all, I know. This is something you're so passionate about and it makes so much sense and it can help save the world and the animals and everyone's health and it just is like so, so amazing on every front. Like you just wanna get up on your rooftop and just sing to the world, vegan is the way. But uh, you will not be making friends that way. You will be making enemies. <laughs> <laughs> or you will be, you know, the center of all of the jokes in your family. You just, is uh, <laughs> the more you can temper that enthusiasm as much as you want to just like ooze it out onto everyone that you surrounds you, uh, the more you can just hold it back, be chill. I know you found this new amazing thing, but let other people ask about it. Don't be too pushy. Lead by positive example. Share delicious food. Uh, the better. We'll just leave it at that. Number nine, and this is the last one, is expecting perfection. Expecting that you can be a perfect vegan. I have talked about this so many times at this point. I have an article about it. I have multiple articles about it actually on World of Vegan. I'll link them below. It is impossible to be a perfect vegan. Um, and so, yes, it's about doing the best that we can. It's about learning as much as we can, educating ourselves, being conscious about what we're um, consuming, what we're purchasing, where we're putting our dollars and supporting good practices, good companies, good products that are aligned with um, our own health and wellness and also the health and wellness of our planet and those who we share it with. And so to think of being vegan as trying to perfectly uh, check all of the boxes of, is there animal products in this? No, okay, then it's good. Yes, okay, then it's bad, is oversimplifying things. Um, there are times where you will need to have things that have been tested on animals. Maybe it's medicine, maybe it's contact lenses. <laughs> like there are, there are things that, that you just, you've just gotta do or participate in. If you're driving a car, if you're, you know, buy, have house plants, they have cow manure, all, all of the things. If you drink water, there's, there's just animal products that make their way into everything right now. That doesn't mean we can't make an impact. Um, you absolutely can and you absolutely will and you are, whether you want to or not, whether you think about it or not, we're all uh, determining the course of the world based on all of our actions. Um, so yeah, don't expect perfection. And that is a wrap. If you guys are new to vegan and living or just stepping in, I wish you all the best of luck in avoiding all these mistakes that I made and so many before me and after me made as well. And uh, I would love to hear down in the comments what your experience has been so far, or if you're a long time vegan, did you make any of these mistakes? What was the most horrific? Uh, let me know down below. As always, you can find tons more articles, recipes, tips, tricks, videos, and beyond at worldofvegan.com. Um, and I hope you'll subscribe to this channel because I come out with new videos every single week. And I will see you then. Have a beautiful day. Bye.